Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Failing YouTuber Marvin, and I have you guys today in the YouTube gameplay. The gameplay you guys are going to be watching in the background today is a 28 to 3 free for all on the map Redwood using the VMP and also picking up some other guns along the way. And you guys are probably asking yourselves right about now, maybe even asking me in the comments, Failing, why are you posting Black Ops 3? Why are you posting this game that you lag on so much? And as you guys are about to see throughout the gameplay in general, I don't lag on Black Ops 3 anymore, guys. I think this might have been the update. I'm not entirely sure. The reason I even got on Black Ops 3 was because my Xbox 360 power cord broke, and I ordered a new one two days ago from Amazon. Uh, the reason I got it from Amazon was because I went to GameStop, and they, you know, they tested it out. They plugged their power cord into the wall to my Xbox, and it plugged in. It worked just fine, and it cost $40, and that's just too much to spend for a power cord. I'm not about to do that. So it costs like $20 from Amazon, and hopefully they'll get here pretty soon. Amazon always seems to have really fast shipping. So I wanted to address something real quick before this video gets started here, and that's the... For the people that talk to me on Xbox One, for the people that invite me to parties, I have Astray 50s, as I've shown in my setup video, and I can't talk to people on Xbox One. They're not compatible with Xbox One. I'm trying to clear this up right now so I don't have people saying, why are you ignoring me, failing? You know, I'm not ignoring you guys. I can hear people on Xbox One just fine, but I can't talk. I have a mic on my headset. It's just not compatible with Xbox One, and that kind of sucks, but it's $30 for a new mic, and I don't know if I really want to spend that much money on one just yet. And it's not a new mic. It's actually an adapter, but you guys get what I'm saying. So today's going to be a very real commentary, one of those commentaries where I'm 100% honest with you, telling you the kind of stuff that other YouTubers are afraid to tell. And you know, everybody's making their videos, they're like, oh dude, the new weapons are here for Black Ops 3, I'm so excited, they're so cool. And of course you're excited, you know, new weapons, that's very cool. But you know, they're like, they're never thinking, okay, you know, I'm going to have to pay for this. Maybe they were just planning on paying for it. And, you know, they're probably just going to say, oh, I'm just going to grind out the game. But for me, I'm like, okay, maybe this is kind of pay to win. If you guys don't know what pay to win is, it means you can pay money to get, like, better weapons than normal weapons. And you're paying to get a good gun, basically. So, Advanced Warfare was really pay to win, in my opinion. You know, there's better variants of guns. For example, the Bow. The Bow is pretty good on its own. But then you get the Bow Obsidian Steed, even the Bow Inferno. And the Obsidian Steed was just ridiculous. That gun is, like, killing one less shot. I think it was more accurate. I don't know all the stats exactly. It might have even been less accurate. But you're killing in one less shot. So basically, I can be challenging some kid that's worse than me. I have the regular battle. This kid has the obsidian seed and he just kills me in less bullets just because he paid however many dollars for supply drops. I viewed this as a problem even before you had the option of buying supply drops just because people would get lucky and happen to have the obsidian seed, good guns like that. And I just thought that was really stupid in general. But, you know, once they actually gave you the option of buying supply drops, I thought it was just even worse. And I hate pay-to-win games because, you know, I bought the game. I paid my $60 on it, whatever. I want to be able to play the game, play it completely normally, have all the best guns without actually paying any more money. I think that's really stupid, personally. The ARX Hole Puncher is actually another really good example. It wasn't even a professional gun. Actually, yeah, that's what it's called, professional. It wasn't, like, a legendary, whatever the hell it was even called in that game, the very best class. It wasn't, like, top tier, but it's called professional. And you would, like, one burst people from across the map with that thing, like, it's an M8A1 from Black Ops 2, if you're accurate. It's just ridiculous, but, you know, it's only if you happen to get the hole puncher, which I actually got at some point. It was a lot of fun playing with it, but then when I didn't have it, trying to use the ARX was a nightmare, and I just really hated that. Another example of pay to win I can actually think of it would be Call of Duty Ghosts. So you guys are probably thinking, Cod Ghosts, why are you even bringing this up? This game sucks. And I know it sucks, but I used to, like I said, my first Call of Duty was Ghosts. And, you know, I just didn't know any better. I didn't know there was better games. And in Call of Duty Ghosts, this is just another reason to hate Ghosts, right? Without buying the class set, there was basically like extra class sets and stuff. You could only have five classes. You couldn't prestige to unlock more classes. There was no way to get them. But if you pay $2, you can get 10 classes. And I just thought that honestly made it really pay to win because you have more classes only only if you pay the money. When in Black Ops 2, you could have your 10 classes, but you pay to get extra class sets. I mean, 10 classes, you should be perfectly fine. You shouldn't really need class sets. But then I actually bought it at the time just to, for the extra class sets. It was kind of nice, but mostly for theater mode because I would actually record my gameplays and put them in theater mode. A lot of the gameplays you guys see are older ones from theater mode just because theater mode's nice. Theater mode's awesome, and it's nice having extra slots to use for that. So obviously, it's not really much of a surprise that they're making this kind of pay to win with supply drops, you know, getting a bunch of really cool weapons with it. People pay a lot of money for supply drops. It's just a fact. They made a ton of sales for Advanced Warfare. I think they made more than the actual game themselves just from supply drops. And obviously, if it does well, they're going to actually sell it because they're a business. That's just how businesses work. And it's just, it's plain smart. It's obvious. What I think is fake, personally, and this is just me. You guys might have a different opinion. I haven't actually done a, any kind of supply drop opening before. Is when you got a grown ass man and he's opening a supply drop and he gets the brass knuckles and he starts screaming like a six year old girl. When in the end, in all reality, he's probably gonna play one or two matches, maybe two matches, you know, maybe he'll screw around in the prime match later, but in the end, he's gonna set him down, he's gonna put him away, he's gonna never use his brass knuckles again. 
it's just kind of a novelty item and it's kind of cool but at the same time it's not something you really overreact on i don't know i mean i can definitely see if you have a channel it can be kind of helpful you know for videos it's just kind of cool stuff to make videos on and i can understand that but i feel like people overreact especially camouflages i mean you're really going to overreact that much on getting you know a cool camouflage a legendary epic camo whatever the hell it is for like an lmg that you're never going to use or a sniper if you don't snipe or a ray gun if you do snipe stuff like that you know the kind of gun you're never going to use and you're overreacting about a camo for it now, on the other hand, an actual weapon I can completely see overreacting, you know, the NX Shadow Claw. I'm, I probably would have thrown it in as an intro clip. That NX Shadow Claw is ridiculous, dude. It's like a crossbow, but it's semi-auto. You can keep shooting it, and it's like a ballistic knife. You just skewer people with it. That thing is so overpowered. The kid that I was actually in the game with missed me so many times with it, but I'm, I just aim in, and it's pretty easy to hit shots with that thing. It's so easy to use. And I got the same man. I kind of want to do a supply drop opening just to get that. Now, I don't know if I want to not play Blackest 3 at all because it's pay to win. I don't think it's 100% pay to win. I personally don't really know how good the weapons are. For example, the MX Garand, I think it's called. It's like eight shots in the magazine. Now, I can see it being a little like a foul, but eight shots in the magazine, come on. How many gameplays am I really going to get with that? How good of a gameplay do I really be able to get? I guess with Fast Mag, that would make it better, but still, eight shots really isn't much. Obviously, I don't know a whole lot about this topic. All I know is just that it seemed pretty pay-to-win to me. And then a lot of people are actually complaining about having the season pass. You know, they paid Treyarch $50 for the season pass, and they're getting, you know, some cool camos and stuff, but they're not actually getting these weapons when they paid $50. I personally think if you have the season pass, you should get those weapons. Personally, I think they should just be part of the game. If you're going to add new weapons, make it a cool update. Make everybody have them. You know, not everybody has to, you know, grind for them. Maybe make it one certain weapon, like a wrench or something. The cosmetic things, I have no problem with it you know you want to get your wrench your brass knuckles your knife your sword you know you can just you know work on getting them in supply drops but the actual weapons i certainly think they should have actually added them to the game let me know your opinions down in the comment section below like i said if you guys have me added on xbox 360 which i don't know how much more 360 i'll be playing now that i can actually play xbox one but if you have me added on 360 be sure to click that link in the top of the description the friendsless cloud video comment your gamer tag if you want to stay it's going to be whenever i get my 360 back to actually do an update video talk about the clear out and yeah just let me know because you know i can't know if people are an active subscriber or not Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on social media. Links will be down in the description below. Subscribe for more. This has been Failing YouTuber Marvin, and have a sexy day.